Welcome to the Daily Insight for Saturday, December 16th. We have two cards for love, two cards for career and finance, and of course our romance angel cards. The first card we have for love for everybody is the Three of Wands followed by the Nine of Pentacles. For those of you who know me and you watch me and you've subscribed to my channel, I love, 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 love this card. This is a wonderful card, okay? This is about a person who is independent, filled with self-love, and absolutely loves the world that they've created for themselves, okay? They love their home, they love their job, they've got their finances in order. They may, most likely, they are on path uh, doing their life purpose, and everything in their life is falling into place, and they love it absolutely love it for some of you you this is the energy that you now embody and it's beautiful this is where we want to be this person is filled with love for everybody sees people in a very different way has actually come through their transformation um yes i am hearing it is in relationship to a soulmate relationship um you've gone through your spiritual awakening your soulmate and you met, you came together, you had some type of a, a blowout and you parted ways. Now, you've gone through all the pain, you've done the chasing, you've pulled back and worked on you and you've been actually uh, moving forward in your life. Now here's the beautiful thing, this is about a person who's made a decision, the three of wands, and they're ready to take action. They're just waiting for that right moment, okay? They're waiting for their ship to come in. You still have hope for this relationship that your soulmate will contact you and try to uh, reconcile or at least have a, a, a conversation where the two of you can, maybe can gain some clarity or decide together how you want to move forward. When you are in this type of energy, no matter who comes back into your life, no matter what they did before, you will know if they've healed and grown, okay? You will know. So for those of you that know you have gone through your transformation and you've become so happy in your life and in your world, just overall happy, you don't have anybody, you're happy, you don't need anybody, you want a specific person and you know exactly what you want and you're not gonna settle. You're waiting for them to contact you. You still have that hope, that faith, that's actually lovely. Now, I am seeing another group of you regarding a partner that you're actually dealing with and the two of you may be separated right now. You could be apart uh, because of work um, I'm seeing some of you where it is a work situation. Maybe you or your partner travel a lot. You're highly happy in your own world and they are gonna come forward and they're gonna share something with you. They're gonna take action to move towards you. Maybe what's going to happen as, a, as a, uh, an example, they may surprise you and come home early. They may plan a trip for you. They may contact you to come and meet them where they're at, and the two of you have um, a special um, weekend adventure. Maybe celebrate your holiday together in a brand new environment, in a brand new way. Start a new tradition. Yep. Now let me pull a romance card and see how that ties in with the reading. For others of you, you're actually waiting for the new person. You've ended it with the soulmate, you're ready to move forward. It's actually beautiful. You're so happy in your, you know, this person right here, the person that I'm seeing. Now this could be for one person, but I doubt it because there's thousands of you looking at these, but um, you're waiting for your true love to show up. You've gone through all, all of it. You've healed, you've moved forward, you're ready. You're truly, for the first time in your life, you are 100% ready to be with the right person at the right time, and they are coming to you. Just keep that hope up. Now, when they get there, 
playfulness, okay? Whether it's your partner and the two of you are separate, whether it's your soulmate and you want to see how things will go forward. Even if you don't want to work things out with the other person, still be playful. What this means is being in the now. Don't hold on to the past. You know, the past has pain in it, which creates us to be very emotional and be out of balance with our emotions, right? It can affect our health. It can affect the way we think, the way we see things. This person has a positive way of looking at life now. They've been enlightened in a way that is amazing. Be in the now, okay? Let them come forward. With whichever scenario this applies in your life, let yourself be in the now, okay? Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So for those of you that have been waiting to move forward in your relationship and the partnership that you're in, and they are you two are at a distance due to work. It's not. It's not uh, an actual separation. Separation. This is your soulmate that you're dealing with. Those of you waiting for your soulmate to return in the other group where you've been apart for a long time. You're calling them, you're very happy and hopeful, and you still have that part of you that hopes. Now, it doesn't mean you're gonna sit in bed and cry. That part's already done. You've healed over that. You've moved forward, but you still are calling them. You're still asking for them to be safe and well and hoping that they come back to you. You still have hope. Now, relating uh, career and finance to love, we have the emperor followed by the chariot. So the emperor is a person who holds back their feelings. They can be very stoic. They don't share everything. They actually don't feel like they need to share everything. And who you were dealing with may have been, when we're talking about the group of you where you've been apart from your soulmate, you've healed and grown, and you're ready and hopeful. Okay, if it isn't them, it's a brand new soulmate, but you're ready. They actually... They may have been narcissistic, okay, when you were involved with them, because um, of what I'm seeing is that this, this, yeah, yeah, they weren't nice. They were pretty, uh, pretty crappy, actually. Um, holding back, being stubborn, they went out of their way to make sure they didn't compliment you, they didn't return your messages, they literally were being not too cool, okay? Well, they've been guided to move forward. They finally, finally got the call because your prayers and affirmations have helped. The angels, the universe, the divine has worked with this very stubborn person to help them see the light and they're moving forward victoriously. This is about victory. They're moving forward. So you've been waiting and they're coming to you. Those of you waiting for a brand new person, you do have somebody coming. Okay, so keep saying your prayers and affirmations. Continue to have that hope and faith because it won't be long. It's going to happen. Now, in career and finance, what I'm seeing, there's a group of you. You're dealing with a, a, a not good, a, your upper management. Okay, this could be your supervisor. This could be the whole, the owner of the company, depending on what type of an environment you're in. Um, they're really not cool, okay? They, I almost want to say Scrooge, okay? <laughs> now that it's time for the holidays, they're like a Scrooge and you're done. You're going to move forward. What I mean by that is you're going to put your resume out, find the job, and then take the new job. You are not going to quit the job, walk off with nothing, okay? You're not gonna walk off with nothing, so don't misinterpret this. You're going to look for a new job because you do not want to deal with this person, and it's gonna be very victorious for you to make that change, 
to make that move and what a beautiful way to start the new year for you. So I do hope this helps you and have a wonderful Saturday. Much love.